Hey, thank you all so much for joining Rudy and me. We're studying the book of Revelation and uh, we're in chapter 11 today. So here we go, verse one. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff and I was told come and measure the temple of God and the altar of those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it's given over the nations. And they'll trample over the holy city for 42 months. And I'll grant my two witnesses authority to prophesy for 1,260 days wearing sackcloth. Let's read a little longer and I want to talk to you about the two witnesses and the measuring rod, Rudy. Okay? okay. So these are the two olive trees and the two lamb stands that stand before the Lord uh, of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire pours in their mouth and consumes their foes. Anyone who wants to harm them must be killed in this manner. They have authority to shut the sky so that no rain may fall in the days of their prophesying. And they have authority over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. So talk to us about the two witnesses, Rudy. Well, <clears throat> uh, the two witnesses are the two witnesses on earth during, I would during the tribulation period. Mm -hmm. And basically they have some of the attributes that Moses and Elijah have. Right. And uh, you can see that in what their abilities are. They're not doing this. Basically they're given the ability by the Lord to be able right. to do this. And some of this goes back to what I believe God was showing Zechariah when the diaspora from Babylon, 70 years after the uh, Jerusalem was destroyed and the people were coming back, Zechariah was told about these two uh, branches with the oil. Back in, in Zechariah, they're, they're called lampstands as well. Right. But it has the same imagery. And one of the things it does is that like, because the children of Israel had been gone for 70 years, all the records had been burnt, there was a question who was supposed to be king, who was supposed to be high priest. God straightened it out back then. And, and it's important because th it become this part of Revelation becomes a second witness to Zechariah, of which Zechariah's revelation allows us to understand Joseph and Mary's uh, uh, genealogies. Right. Because Joshua, with a, with a vowel change, Joshua will become Yeshua. Uh, yeah. And he is, he, is, he is clothed as the high priest, but the king, which they weren't sure who was it supposed to be, became Zerubbabel, who is the one that that their genealogies cross from Luke and Matthew. Okay. So this actually assures Jesus' genealogy as well. Yeah. And so it really it really does become important and this 1260 days is 42 months, which is half of seven years, which Daniel talked about being uh, a week of years, seven years, that was separated from the 70 weeks of years he was told about in his prophecy. And in, that, in the description of that 70th week, it's told that in the middle of that week, something happens. Yeah. yeah. So if Rudy, if Rudy and I were on television, one of our national news people, we'd have a screen behind us, and we would have a chart that Rudy is talking about so we could point these things out. We don't have that, but I wrote a blog article, uh, www.real-voices.com. And I'm gonna try to put in that some of the scripture references that Rudy's just given you so you can read the scripture and compare them to what we have here and see that. Uh, so these witnesses are there to give the world an opportunity if they will to respond. Absolutely, because you you have to go back all the way back to Leviticus and understand that God made a process. Yes. And 
You cannot be put to death without the witness of two or three. Right. This is the ultimate two or three witnesses that you, it's not dying, it's the second death right. that we're talking about here that these two witnesses and one of the things I believe that these two witnesses will be doing is because the sacrificial system is restarted at the beginning of the 70th week. Right. And maybe they're going to be the ones that relate to the world that, that doesn't know anything about the sacrificial system to understand what each sacrifice was leading to, what how it was a detail of really Jesus's reign. Yeah. And uh, they are giving the world that has never heard this message uh, the opportunity because there's two witnesses yeah. so that they would not face the second death. Yes. So tomorrow I'm looking at my at my little stopwatch here. I'm looking at that to know we need to probably slow up here just a second and pick this up tomorrow. What I want to spend a couple of minutes on talking about, Rudy, is uh, if God in his mercy Come has on. two witnesses present for a world that has basically turned their back on him. And he they are, we're gonna find out they're they're going to end up being treated horribly by the beast. That's tomorrow. Uh, if they are doing that, should we not in today, 2023, should we not try to be the best witnesses we can be? Should we not speak for the Lord? and try to get as many people as possible to become followers of Jesus. Second Peter, and I've quoted this a lot because I think it's important. Second Peter says, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God doesn't want people to be injured by the things that we're reading about. It is not his plan. Uh, God wants us to come to him. So should we not also be those kind of witness? Yeah, and you know, there's, there's plenty of times when I'm talking to people and I'm sure this, I think the same is true for you and you know that the only thing that you can say next is concerning Jesus. Right, you got it. And you have to have enough courage to do that gracefully. And it's correct. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and grace. Thank you for Rudy and a chance to visit with him. Thank you for folks that will take their time out of their day to listen yes, to Lord. us. And we pray that you'll bless us to follow you and help us, Lord, to be wise, to be thoughtful, to be loving and caring as we share who you are with others. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name, amen. amen. Hey, thank you all for joining us. It's an honor that you take your time to do it. God bless you. You have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.